welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a galaxy straight pour. Um, I've got some really nice colors, nice deep uh, colors, vibrant. So I think what's going to happen is I should get some great fingerlings, stretch them out, really make them open up. So that's the goal today. I really like straight pours. I also get a little tired of straight pours sometimes, but I really want to go back to the galaxy pour and really get some deep dark lines in that. So let's get down on the canvas and get started. I'll be right back. So today I'm going to be doing a galaxy pour. So this is a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. I have put a coat of gesso on it. So this is a canvas that I was uh, playing on a couple of weeks ago, working on swipes and using rainbow colors that I was going to use in the pride month uh, pours, but didn't like how it turned out. So what I did is I put a coat of gesso on it and it is ready to be painted. For a 20 by 20, you're gonna need about 14 ounces of paint. So today I'm gonna to fill up a 16 ounce cup. Got a great color palette, so let me show that to you real quick. Um, I am using today a combination of Expert Series Amsterdam, and this is the Prussian Blue and the Thalo Turquoise Blue. These paints are heavier bodied than regular Amsterdam paints. So I mix these paints three to one, three parts Floetrol, one part paint. And this here is a uh, nine ounce cup. This is Deco Art in the Metallics Sapphire. This is a much looser paint. So this is mixed two to one, or excuse me, one to one, one to one. One part flow draw, one part paint. This is a custom made purple, almost like a dioxazine. I used it in my last pour. So that's a combination of the um, Purple Lake from Creative Inspirations, a little bit of color shift in the Purple Flash, and Permanent Blue Violet from Amsterdam. This is mixed um, two to one, two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Deco Art Metallics 24 karat gold mixed one to one. There's no water in any of the paints today. No water whatsoever. This here is my Artist Loft Soft Body White mixed two to one, Floetrol, two parts, one part paint. And I put about four tablespoons of the satin enamel white from Deco Art. This is a custom blue I made with Amsterdam manganese blue mixed with Pebeo's iridescent blue green. Beautiful, beautiful color made. And my final color is Quinacridone magenta from Liquitex Basics. Two to one. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint. So these paints are pretty thick. Again, no water. You put the stick in and it pretty much will sit, stand up straight. All right, so let's get to layering our cup. Okay, so the thing to remember, of course, with all your pores, the first colors in are gonna be the last colors out. So I want a really deep center with some white that's gonna look like it's kind of shooting out. So I'm going to layer some white in my cup first. I'm gonna go with that deep Prussian blue. Sapphire. Gold. The white. Blue, let's go back. Put 
some of the crushing. Sapphire. Got magenta. white Prussian teal magenta purple Russian Sapphire Purple and Gold. I'm going to pour into some white here in the center. do my best to keep this in the center I tend to start getting a little sideways all right so we're gonna start right here in the center here All right, let's move this around a little bit.
Here's what I'm not a fan of. Too much white. Layered way too much white in there. But I like the colors and I've got enough paint, I believe, that I can do another cup. So let's do a round two. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do white. Nowhere near as much this time. Go again. I'm not going to pour into white this time. There's plenty of paint here. By the end of the pour, your hands really start to shake. Go with this again.
This is really cool, guys. I'm calling this one, it's almost like a screeching comet. In the midst of the tilting, I had to really think on my feet. What did I want to do with that center? Did I want to keep it? Did I want to get rid of it? And so as I was tilting, I was like, you know what? Let's just go. Get rid of it and just let the fingerlings stretch out. So now the fingerlings kind of encompass the center, which looks like a giant rock streaking through the galaxy. Really, really cool. I love this outcome. I'm gonna clean up these edges real quick and then I'm gonna bring you guys in. All right, here we are with the wet result. Again, had to think on my feet, but I like the outcome. Okay, we'll see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, here we are with the dried result. Alright guys, here we are with the dried result of this open cup pour. Really great. Sorry about not putting it in an earlier video. Got sidetracked, but here we are. Stop, Sophia. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. That is the dried result. Dried really great. Um, definitely was not the standard straight pour I was going for. It, uh, I didn't like the center at all, both times I re-poured that. Um, but I like what I did because I tilted off the white that was in the center and left what was on the back end of it. So now it more looks like a comet streaking through the universe. So I really, really like that. So, All right. Hey, you know, you have to think on your feet. Sometimes things work, sometimes things don't. So thanks everyone for watching. I will see you next time. Everyone have a great week and uh, see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.